Hello, my favorite people, and welcome back. After about four days of being thoroughly just destroyed by the Dodo Rex, I have come up with a plan against him, and I'll show it to you right now. This structure here, this took close to four days to build. All the turrets, all filled with bullets, they're set off right now. I have them on a keypad so I can activate them right away. I figured out that with the mini battles of the Dodorex that I've had, you can kind of kite him. And luckily, he seems to spawn over by this yellow, old green obelisk relatively frequently. So I've managed to kite him into this swamp multiple times when fighting him. So what my goal is to do is to kite him, get him stuck right here in this rock little area here, and just have these turrets eat away at him. We're just going to cheese him because this guy is next to impossible to kill normally. I've lost so many dinos, it's not even funny. So what we have to do now is wait for it to turn night, hope he spawns in an area that's relatively close, if not right over there by the uh, yellow obelisk, and we will, uh, get out of here, bugs. We will uh, try to shoot him down. This is going to be pretty epic if it works, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back, and we've got the Dodo Rex aggroed on us. We have to fly, like, really low to keep his interest, but we're trying to... Oh, there you got me. But we're trying to get him over here to these turrets. Okay. Now they're going. And we've got the neighboring tribe over here who's set up with some ballistas who are going to be blasting him as well. So he... Oh, he's not got the turrets firing on him right now. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Okay, turrets are going. Neighboring tribe is firing ballistas in him. We are going to burn this guy down. We're just going to cheese him through. So it doesn't look like all the turrets are firing. That kind of sucks. I might need to get him moved over a little bit to the side. But once we can get uh, most of these turrets hitting him, he should go down relatively quick. I'll speed up the uh, video for you guys right now. imagined that this would have taken so long but things are like progressing smoothly uh, there's been no like major accidents I came really close to losing wingman over there but so far so good I mean 
uh, I just, we're just, we just gotta wait it out. It's it's taking ages, but you know he's he's going down. He's looking real real bloody. So anytime, uh, anytime he's gotta be going down. <laughs> We got him! Oh my god, that was the longest battle in history. Oh, wow. Uh, those ballistas these guys were firing, one's on a Quetzal, one's on that little tower there, that was pretty much, like, invaluable. I don't think that that would have happened if, uh, like, most of these turrets, they ran out of bullets. So I was, like, running through and shutting them off because I didn't know if that, like, mattered or not, but it seemed like only 10 or so were firing at him at a time. There might be a cap uh, as to how many turrets can fire at once. Don't know. Not 100% sure on that. But we still had like these remaining turrets that were hitting him all throughout. That fight took ages, but we got it. We got our, we got our mask. There's some of the ballista bolts that I had made and given give to them. Like, wow. <laughs> what an unreal, ridiculous fight. But we did it, guys. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. You guys stay awesome. Come back and see me for some more cool videos. Later.